Normally I wouldn't touch Pico projectors with a tiny six inch barge pole, which is about as big as the image they can typically project. However, this one has impressed me. The Nebra Anybeam. It is in fact a laser Pico projector and claims to be the world's smallest pocket-sized cinema. Join me, James Bruce, for MakeUseOf.com reviews as I take a closer look at the Nebra Anybeam. And stay tuned to find out how you can win one of these bad boys for yourself. Recently out of crowdfunding and shipping internationally from the UK, the Nebra Anybeam is available exclusively from pi-supply.com, Pi Supply, for around £229 or $300. It is a minuscule projector with almost no built-in bells and whistles. It does have a one watt speaker, however there's no built-in battery, there's no operating system, there's no smart features. It's pretty much just a projector, and that's good. The Nebra Anybeam measures a mere 4 by 2.3 by 0.8 inches, or 10.5 by 6 by 2 centimeters, and it weighs 132 grams, or 4.7 ounces. So it is literally pocket-sized. There is, however, nothing else in the box to show you. There's not even a micro USB cable. Now this, I would also say, is probably a good thing. Let's face it, if you're buying this, you're probably a bit of a geek anyway, and you probably have a drawer full of micro USB cables, old phone chargers, or even uh, battery packs like this, which it can run off. The only requirement is that it outputs 1.5 amps at the standard USB 5 volts. Now, although you can just put this onto anything in order to project, of course, it also has a tripod mounting point at the bottom, meaning you can connect one of these Gorilla Pods or any other kind of uh, mounting system that you like. On the rear, you'll find a 3.5mm audio jack, uh, as well as an HDMI port and the micro USB port for power. Now, because there is no internal battery, you do need to plug this into some sort of power source in order to use it. The full-size HDMI port should be compatible with anything that you plug it in, but if you do have problems, then try to make sure you're outputting at the native 720p resolution and 60Hz refresh. I had no problems at all connecting this to a Nintendo Switch in its docked form uh, or to a Fire TV stick, although I did need to use a little HDMI extender because the, uh, the stick, when it was in here, sort of conflicted with the micro USB power port so they couldn't both fit in at the same time. However, I did have a couple of problems projecting from my MacBook Pro and I'm not entirely sure why. It could have been the dongle I was using was faulty, who knows. For everything else though, I haven't had a problem. Now, unlike most Pico projectors that use tiny screens and LED light sources, inside of here you'll find a laser. Now, combined with a MEMS scanner, which is a tiny little mirror that flicks around really, really quickly, that's how the RGB of the image is built up. Now, the other great thing about being a laser projector is that you get a pinpoint sharp image. Well, 720p anyway, uh, regardless of the distance at the sort of scale that we're talking about. So there doesn't need to be uh, a refocusing function. Featuring a contrast ratio of 80,000 to 1, the Nebra Anybeam puts out 30 ANSI lumens of brightness, which Nebra claim is around the equivalent of 150 lumens on a standard DLP projector. Now there's no bulb to change, it's noiseless, fanless, and runs on very low amounts of power. That said, like all Pico projectors, it isn't particularly bright, and you'll struggle to project much more than a uh, sort of laptop sized image during the daytime. At night, however, that's when you can really start to push this. Now the largest I could reasonably manage once the sun was down was about two meters diagonal, and that was from 2.6 meters away, meaning that it has a throw ratio of around 0.76. Now I did try it with the maximum image size I can get on my home cinema uh, projection screen, which is about 2.8 meters diagonal. That was from 3.5 meters away, but at that point it was just not bright enough. And even though it's a laser at 720p with a massive image like that, it's just a bit too blurry. In terms of flicker, you're likely seeing a scan line in the video uh, because of a slight frame rate mismatch. I can assure you it doesn't look like that in real life. It is absolutely buttery smooth at 60 frames a second. And it's also responsive, meaning that I wouldn't hesitate to play some games on this either. On the side, there's a single combined push and toggle switch, which is how you can access the internal menu. 
Really, you're not gonna to want to touch that that often unless you're tilting it to change the keystone. In normal operation, this switch controls the volume of the speaker, but even at full volume, it's really quite minuscule, muffled, and best left alone. You will almost certainly want to connect an external speaker to this via the 3.5 mil output jack, but in a pinch, it'll do. The fact that the Nebra AnyBeam doesn't have any built-in functionality is, for me, a selling point. There's no frustrating software to navigate through and just select the HDMI port, which is all you really want. There's no built-in Miracast server, which let's face it, never works anyway. Nor is there a SD card reader for playing back local files, which have to be formatted in an ancient .avi format that no one uses anymore. There's no remote control. There's no fiddly Wi-Fi to set up. The Nebra AnyBeam is an output device. It is a projector, and that is exactly what a projector should be. If you need to add smart functionality, plug in a dongle. But how good is it as a projector? I mean, it's certainly the best Pico projector I have come across yet. It's convenient, it's portable, it is literally tiny, it is pin sharp and it runs off a USB battery bank or a USB charger. It's very convenient, and for the size, it's very bright. However, it is still a Pico projector, and that means that it isn't really that bright at all and can only really be used at night. At £229 or $300, though, you do have to really justify the format and the portability of this device. For that price, you could buy a budget, proper home cinema projector. Something which is brighter is going to give you a bigger screen and may even have a better built-in speaker. But of course, won't be nearly as portable as this is. So best Pico projector yet, but do consider if you really want a Pico projector. All right, that's it from me. I hope this review of the Nebra AnyBeam has helped you make up your mind about whether it's right for you. If it has helped, then do please hit the like button and consider subscribing for more weekly reviews gadget giveaways and tech tutorials from all of us at makeuseof.com. Now I did mention a giveaway for this. To be in with a chance of winning a Nebra AnyBeam for yourself, please head on over to the link in the description to the full review article. At the bottom of that, you'll find a competition widget where you can enter your details to be in with a chance of winning. The bonus code you're looking for is Pi Projector. Enter that and you'll get some bonus entries. Please remember to add competitions at makeuseof.com to your address book to ensure that the mail we send you doesn't end up in your junk box. The competition closes in about a month from the date of this video. Good luck, and I'll see you next time.